Hi my friends, thanks for joining me once again and if you're new here, welcome. Uh, today I thought I would change it up a little bit with the Mamagami. I've done a video that's, you know, um, been viewed by actually quite a few people and in that video I used oil and I left a recipe, a very simple recipe in the description for um, tapioca starch as another method and since then I've learned a few people have done it with um, moist uh, with moisture with lotion so I'm thinking with the lotion you're not going to get the same suppleness uh, with your copy paper as you do with the oil so I'm going to start with this is just some um, a faux Japanese lettering that I did um, on a piece of tracing paper which is you know thinner than copy paper so I thought I'd give that a shot and see uh, how that works so same idea scrunching up your paper kneading it opening it up Now I see some of the ink is spreading onto the, uh, it, it's not smearing, it's just coming, if you can see that, it's just coming a little bit into the white area. Nothing to worry about really, a little bit more of the uh, lotion. I'm using Aveeno, and if it's really important, it's Aveeno. Um, Lavender. <laughs> I love the smell of this. And this has got glycerin in it, so I think that's that's the ingredient that gives it you know the uh The ingredient that allows us to make our mamagami. Mamagami. Now when you're not using oil and using the lotion instead, um, you can't need it as much. But this is working. Now, as I said, this is on rice paper, so it's thinner than the copy paper. I have some copy paper here. I'm going to try it on that after we finish with this one. And I don't think, I've watched two videos, and I don't think you get it quite as uh, supple, as I was saying, with uh, the lotion. The oil can get into the fibers better, but the advantage of this is that um, you're not having to worry as much about it soaking into your, you know, into your collage or into your journal page, whatever you're using these for. So, six of one, half a dozen of another. So yeah, it's working. And my paper's still quite... Uh, substantial it's not feeling fragile or frail or delicate so that's good to know not as easily ripped as you might have thought okay one more shot of the oil not the oil sorry the lotion Yeah, pretty nice. Now I printed this off onto tracing paper, but I originally 
did this lettering on rice paper. And I did follow some of the rice paper had some of this lettering on it from the company. So I followed those letters and then I made up some of my own. Okay, I think that's probably it. As I said, not quite as supple and as uh, the oil, but it works. Okay, let's try it on. Oh, I also wanted to show you, I did one earlier and decided to, I wanted a shiny finish, so I finished it off with uh, Mod Podge. Just to sort of protect it and to give it that shiny finish. So there's the shiny, and there's the not shiny, the matte finish. So yeah, that works. Just another little tip there. Okay, let's give this a shot with the uh, copy paper. It's acrylic paint. Now I'm sure you can buy less expensive. I would go to the dollar store and try to find some lotion there. I mean, you don't need to use a vino. So it's a beautiful day here today. It's going up to about 25. Sunny, blue sky. My sister arrived yesterday from Switzerland. Her and her daughter and her daughter's beau. So they're staying in Nova Scotia for three weeks. They'll do some cottaging and, well, actually doing quite a bit. Of barbecuing and staying at a, oh, a little bit of a rip there. I guess I was a little too rambunctious, so be aware of that. It's not going to be as pliable as the tracing paper because when I bent it up, it was harder and thicker and crunchier so I think that's what happened there so just be aware not a big deal yeah so they're going to a cottage in the Annapolis Valley where I live and they'll be here for a couple of days my sisters for a couple of days and then they're going to the eastern shore for a few days, and then into Halifax, into the city for some time. And they're going to Cape Breton. And they're going to the North Shore. So yeah, they're going to get around. Talia, my niece, I don't th think it's, I think it's been, yeah, a long time since she's been here. So, so it'd be nice to have them. I um, I used to love to travel. I don't travel as much anymore now that I'm older. It's just, it's not stressful. It's just hard sitting on a plane for 
you know, 7, 10, 15 <laughs> hours. I don't have the knees I used to have. So, it's quite uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm going to give it one more shot of the lotion. So, and today, two of my cousins, who are sisters, are coming. One's visiting from Florida. She's from here. And the other one lives, I don't know, an hour and a half from where I live. Anyway, they're coming up for the day. So we're all going out for, for dinner. That'll be nice. Okay. And that's that. I think what I'm going to do, I like that. I don't know, for some reason it seems to give my, this is acrylic paint on copy paper. And it seems to give it I don't know if it gives it more depth or definitely looks like a piece of material. Yeah, so that's fun. I think what I'll do is I'm going to put some Mod Podge on this. Um, oh, maybe not. I don't know if I want that to be shiny or not. Well, Maybe I'll put it on half just to show you how it looks with the Mod Podge. And I'm sure you can do a gloss medium or, you know, a varnish even. So I'm going to uh, do that and we'll see how it looks. Without the good old Mod Podge. Just a thin coat of the Mod Podge. Maybe what I'll do is I'll do half of that with the Mod Podge. Leave the other half so we can do a comparison. So I know I have some regular viewers out there. I would love to hear from you folks. Sometimes I just feel like I'm out in YouTube land by myself when I don't hear from people. I love hearing from you. Okay, so that's about half of it. I'm going to dry that and we'll come back and take a look at draw a comparison. Okay, so I've dried my Mod Podge don't know if the camera's picking up. There's a little bit of a sheen there. So I guess it's a matter of preference. I like both sides. I don't know which one I like better. So, yeah. Although I must say the Mod Podge would add some some protection. Um, I finish. But yeah, so the lotion works. It's I'm assuming it's the glycerin in the lotion that's giving us the ability to do this. So, but, fun. And there's our three little pieces here. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you picked up a little trick, tip, technique. So yeah, we'd love a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, today would be a good day to do that. Uh, and remember, today is a good day to have a good day. See you on the next one.